you've been waiting your entire life for this moment. Yes, you know who you are, you fellow YouTube viewers out there. You know you have been waiting for this all your life. And now, here to bring it to you, is the one man who can save us all. What's up guys, Ninsen are here! It's Rody back again! After uh, about a two month hiatus. See, I, I spent my time enjoying my summer and I really should have recorded more, but I didn't. I apologize. But guess what? I'm back. And now I'm going to be bringing you, oh my god, this game. A new Let's Play called Mushroom Man Rise of the Fun Guy. Now, you may be asking yourself, what the hell is he talking about? I've never heard of this game. Well, y y you'd be right, because this is probably one of the most underground DS games created of all time. And I apologize about the intro, or the uh, intro screen, how you see it's all shaky and crapola and shit and stuff. It, this is the only ROM I could find, considering how rare it is. Anyway, we're going to start off, and we got three options. We got Heavy, Sage, and Scout. Basically, your mushrooms, and I'll read all the text so you get all this stuff. So I'm going to be Heavy, because it sounds cool. Alright, let's go. Oops. Yes. Forgot. My mouse is my stylus. Alright. Let's try my old man voice. Welcome. You seem to be a monkey. I'm here to explain your role in the village. Following our mighty chieftain's order, we store food and building materials here. We are running desperately low on reserves and have to fight for every bit against the beast near the perimeter. Any help would come in handy since the beasts are swarming all around this place. Awake, my children! I'm quite hungry! General! Run out to the upper world and bring me some food from the worthless eaters in the Bolati village! That one hurts. Yes, my queen. Hey, look at this! Somebody help! Alright. Interesting voices that I have about a thousand just in my head. Anyway, we are at the Bolate village. And basically this game is about mushroom men. Very underground, and the qual uh, it got bad stuff because the quality sucks. Monsters, do not! Ah! Monsters are rampaging through our homes. They are going for our food supplies. I guess that's me. The fire in your eyes tell me that you could be the most powerful warrior of all ages if you survive the first days of combat. Let's move on to the village. Press right and left on the control pad to perform this action. Or your laptop. Oh, yeah, look at those moves. I am quite the mushroom. First, you have to get to the center of battle. I'm marking the way with red dots in your map. Touch this icon with the stylus, and the screens will be swapped. After changing the screens, you can touch the red dots with the stylus and read the next goal of your current mission. The other points mark important areas where you can kill yourself or plant your soul. I will explain them later. Now follow the red dots as fast as you can. And please, we need everybody to stop the invasion of evil mutants. So let's check out what these red dots are. You have to jump up here. Save your progress by touching the remedy set with the stylus. Mutagen. 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 Cool beans. Alright, switch back. Bump. I like this music. It's very catchy. So anyway, I apologize uh, before... Stuck. I'm stuck. Awesome. Okay. Well, anyway, before I get going, I apologize for not recording this summer. I really am. Um, I know I said I was going to get on that. And I, honestly, I was enjoying my summer too much. Now, I got into this card game called Magic the Gathering. If you play it, that's awesome. If you don't, hey, that's cool too. And uh, I've spent quite a bit of money that I probably could have saved for other things. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm not proud of that. Anyway, that's enough about me and my lazy-ass summer. Time to continue with what you really want. This weird-ass game that's been in the back of my mind for like three years now. Woohoo! Okay. Let's move. We are very slow. Oh, of course, it's the lag again. Touch the question marks with the stylus for my advice. It's not obligatory, but it can be helpful. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to jump here? Okay. Oh, those hops! Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look at those. Those hops are amazing. 
Yeah, but this game's th this game has its own lag. It's not my laptop screwing up. What happened here, friend? I think that's my voice. I don't remember. I was on guard duty when these monsters appeared from out of nowhere. We destroyed our bridge to prevent them from reaching our village. But then those flying beasts came. They took all of our food supplies. Don't worry, for my friend. I will get it all back. I really don't like that's the voice I picked for my character. Oh, well. So, let's see. One, two, jump! That was quite the impressive leap, I must say. You're going to face your first enemy. Touch the inventory icon with the side of this. Switch to the inventory screen. You can swap screens while touching the corresponding icon with the side on the right side. Drag the stick into your inventory and drop it onto the hand area of the screen. Now you've just grabbed your weapon. All right. Oh, the box is the inventory. And we already switched screens that fast. So let's give the stick to myself. Let's switch the screens and let the fire to begin. Press the A or Y button to strike with your weapon. You can win powerful combos by hitting them repeatedly. Oh, interesting. All right. So I'm switching back. I switch back. Switch back. There we go. Let's let's test out our moves. Huzzah! Die, evil beast. Really? You're not going to let me... You can avoid these poisonous claws and fangs by lowering your hand hard cap. Press the down on the control pad. Beware. Cap locking doesn't save you from every kind of attack. Cap lock. Oh, I already killed him. I'm strong. Yeah. I'm telling you, this game is really out there. Mutagen. Oh, snap. What do we have now? Toothpick sword? Awesome. We're equipping that. Maybe it does, like, more damage or something. It's a four-star. Oh, wait. Oh. Attack speed. Damage three. Oh, yeah. Oh, you hear that? The lag is gone. Yeah, but we still don't move fast. It's okay, though. Oh, look at that one. He's got spikes on his back. He looks... Can I just hit the house of cards? Oh, he got crushed by a card. I'm alive. I'm alive. Thank you. All right. My voices aren't very good. So I'm just going to talk normally for all the rest of the random mushrooms. But for the main mushrooms, I'm, you know what I mean. We kill the can of mushroom reminiscence. You can plant your soul here and... And later, if something goes wrong, you can continue mission from this place. So, this is the save point. Stand in front of the room and listen, and touch it with the silence to save your game. Would you like to uh -huh. Would you like to save the game? I would, thank you. Done. Would you like to save? Done. Wow. Oh, snap. Can I... I dropped the knife. Can I get up there? Nope. Oh, snap. Snap. I never thought that someone would attack us. We never harmed any. Oh, that wasn't the right guy. Dang it. No way. One hit? Just killed that fool? Oh, I'm so OP. Alright, I'm pretty much done talking for all the random mushrooms. There's so many of them. It's pointless. Ooh, I got a bead. Combine the stick and bone in order to make a new weapon. I'll talk for the old gramps in my character. Saw screens at the t touch inventory. Really, there's a lot of talk. Oh my god, so many words. You can make new weapons by dragging one piece of scab and releasing it over another. Note. Maybe that was supposed to be scrap. Anyway, note that you can assemble certain pieces. If the scab stuff put a red mark, will appear with the ineffective scabs. You can also take apart your new item anytime to get its components to the scavenge weapon and drop an assemble out for it. By dropping your item and assemble, it completely removes the selected scab from random. Before we hear once you drop something, it's gone for good. Cool thing about this game, there is some actual. You can actually edit some things. Ooh, how much does that do? Five, six. Well, I'm already OP with my toothpick sword, so. 
Come here. Die. Die. Whoa. How did I get my health back? Can I not? How have I whiffed him every single time? There we go. Air comboed. 10 damage. The storage building is unaffected. It's undefended. I have to protect it. Gotta go to defend storage. Oh no. Wait, first I gotta check out my new stuff. What's the pencil sharp? Oh, that's probably for combining. Yeah. So my toothpick sword does tons of damage. Yeah, what you know. Oh, that swing. So yeah. I really haven't explained that much about this game. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to keep most of my episodes around 15 minutes instead of 20 like I did for the uh, Canvas Curse Let's Play. So I know I haven't really explained that. That's because I kind of wanted to um, just show you guys what's going on with this game, what I'm doing and stuff. But I promise in the next episode I will explain more of this game so you kind of have an insight. Because honestly, I don't really remember that much. I remember we thought there was this cool game about mushrooms. So we thought, oh, cool. This game's about mushrooms. We should get it. Well, and then we got it. The D and this one is fun. The DS one. The there was also one released for the Wii, and the Wii one was horrendous. Definitely not as good. How do I get up there? Oh crap! That did a lot of damage. Do I naturally just restore health? Screw you, CPU lit. I do naturally regain health. This is convenient. I like that. So maybe I can't get that thing anymore because I cut the sword down on accident. Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, oh, almost. But it looks like if I fall from any high place, I'm going to take tons of damage. And I whiffed my jump. I didn't take any damage, though, because I touched the sword, which is nice. All right, come on. Work with me. I don't even know what my name is though. You know, unless unless I get dubbed a name, we're gonna name him Sir Cadwell. Does that sound fine? Yeah, that's fine. So I am Sir. Oh, there's my cat block. <laughs> I am Sir Cadwell. I'm a, okay. Looks like I can't get whatever was in that box. So I'll give it like one more jump, but then we're just gonna move on because there's really no point in just. Oh, okay, that doesn't count. I fell, like, really hard, and pathetically. Looks, uh, it looks like I've screwed it up too much. Okay, yep, I screwed it up too much. All right, well, time to move on. It was worth a shot, though. Okay. Touch the hero. Oh, touch the hero. That's me. Oh crap. I have to survive? What is this? This is like a gauntlet. Oh, the air combos. I'm amazing. Oh! <laughs> I start to see why this game is poor. The uh, it, it was extremely not even close to hitting him. Let's continue training build the storage building. I would like to share with you share an interesting technique with you. But before you come here, visit the Green Garden Mossy's Soul of the Wind Rose. Mossy's Soul can remove fatigue and heal your wounds. So I have to go there to heal oh. Oh look, and right when I'm about to Right when I'm close to finishing. Oh, can I As I expected, you def defeated those evil monsters you've earned my best invention the grappling hook with this you can chase the last farmers hunt down their leader sweet a grappling hook use the grappling hook oh sorry not him use the grappling hook first touch the hook icon and then drag it on the object where you want to shoot the rope when you change the color green drop the hook okay, all right So that's a really horrible thing. G 
Jeez. Look at that. All right. So this video is going to be a little longer than 15 minutes. I apologize about this, guys. And also, I know I'm not talking very much, but that's because I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Oh, look. Now we can get this. We got another stick. And a Dadio stick. All right. So I'm going to save here. I'm going. Yes, I would like to save here. All right. And then also... So I think this is probably a good good place to stop. So I'll just pause the game and I'll save it. All right. So we have saved it. All right, guys. This was me coming back. And you know what? I'm really glad to be back to recording. I'm going to record uh, once a week, every Friday, hopefully. And I'm not – I don't know the length of this game, how long it's going to take. I'm assuming – since it's not a very good, because I mean, I'm sure you can tell it's not a very good quality game, and it got really bad reviews. But hey, my brother got the game when he was younger, and we always played it. We thought it was awesome because you got a. I mean, this is one of the first customizable weapon games I can remember. We get to customize your own weapons. Now, sure, it may not be your Call of Duty SMG with butthole scope and anal aid grenade launcher, but I mean, you can make like you know, like a mace out of a stick and a ball or something. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's 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 a game from my past, so I really enjoy it. Plus, I'm sure it's something none of you have heard of before. And if you have, more power to you. Okay, guys. So, once again, you know who I am. Ah, come on. You know that's not how it goes. <laughs> it's been too long. Once again, guys, I'm Rudy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want more Nintendo, more weird mushrooms, more Mario, which is Greg's next Let's Play, Subscribe to us here at Ba -ba -ba Nin Center. Uh, once again, guys, for like the third time, I was doing one three. Who cares? Uh, I'm Rudy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.